Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with Adrian from Blessings for the Bards. Over on her channel you will find a lot a lot a lot of cleaning motivation. She has some amazing content over there that is sure to get you up and moving while you watch it. She also has some videos over there on lifestyle and style type beauty videos. She just did a video on press on nails and listen if you're at home and your nails are just as busted as mine you definitely want to go check out her video. She can give you some amazing tips on how to make your nails look great at home. Y'all she also does cooking videos and when I tell you the food that she cooks on this channel will make you salivate. I'm not lying. These are sloppy joe like Big Mac style. Uh, guys, I just want her to come over to my house and cook for me. Like I love watching the recipe videos but I want her to come cook for me. <laughs> and trust me, once you watch all of these cooking videos she's got, you're gonna want her to come cook for you too. I promise. I will have her video and her channel linked in the description box below, so you all have to make sure to go over there and check out her videos. If you all are coming over from Adrienne's channel, hi, my name is Chelsea, and I have a bunch of different styles of videos over here on this channel. We have some DIYs. I did a paint with me. We have built our bed from scratch, and we filmed all of that. Mostly, I like to do cleaning videos, but I've also done plus-size try-on hauls. I've done vlog style videos, shopping videos, you name it, it's probably over here on this channel. If this is the kind of content you like and you want to stick around, I would love to have you hit that red subscribe button and become part of the growing community over here. Okay y'all, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. In today's video, we are cleaning up the mess that was made from just putting in a ceiling light. You would be surprised how messy everything gets when you are doing any sort of construction or remodeling to a home. Another thing that is unique about today's video that Adrienne and I will be doing is giving random tips on how to cope with having to be cooped up staying inside of your house. She has children, so she's going to have some amazing tips on how to cope with being you know, at home with your children. I don't have children, so my tips are going to possibly be a little bit different than hers or will work different for different people. first tip I have for you is to do home projects. We had been putting a lot of our home projects off because we both work full-time jobs so getting around to actually doing it and making time for it was just not gonna happen. So we have actually painted our bedroom, I have built a bed, John put in a ceiling fan, we have started checking off a lot of the things that was on our list. And if you are able to do those things, I highly recommend them as a way to cope with being stuck inside because you are still seeing some sort of progress. It's things that you've maybe had on your list for a really long time that you've wanted to see done, so it makes you happy to see them checked off as well. I just highly recommend this tip.
My second tip is to simply get outside. We have been going fishing a lot here recently, and believe me when I say there is no better social distancing method than going fishing, because no one is trying to be side by side while you're fishing. If fishing isn't your thing, you can still get outdoors. You can go on a walk, you can take a hike, you can have a picnic with your family. We like to barbecue, we have campfires in the backyard. Getting outside just makes me feel better and it makes everyone feel better. So I highly recommend getting outside as much as possible while also being very aware of social distancing. My best tip for last so my third tip is to watch online church services or turn on worship music and just worship in your living room or have Bible study with your significant other or whomever you are quarantined with at this time it has definitely been a bummer that we haven't been able to congregate with our church family but it has been a huge help being able to have online services and worship in our home and I feel like me and my husband have definitely gotten closer through that so that is my biggest tip for you.
really want to know what tips you all have. So let's start a conversation in the comment section below. What type of tips would you recommend for coping with being stuck at home right now? Or if you're an essential worker and you have to go to work, what tips do you have for other people who are going through that? People with families larger than just, you know, your husband and wife like I've got going on here. What type of tips do you have? They'll definitely help other people, I'm sure. So go ahead and drop those in the comment section down below. Okay, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Also, guys, don't forget to head on over to Adrienne's channel. I'll have all of her information linked for you guys. I hope y'all are having a beautifully blessed evening, morning, noon, night, no matter what time it is, wherever you are when you're watching this. I genuinely hope it's blessed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.